we met on a blind date. A friend of his and a friend of mine just thought that we would make a good couple. We ended up having a few cocktails. Wasn't there a food fight in, in, in somewhere there along there the line? A little bit of a food fight, yeah. I saw that she had a good sense of humor. And I saw that he was a good guy. Huh. Well, that's good. Them. <laughs> <laughs> When you have a life-changing experience like we went through, I don't take tomorrow for granted anymore. Our son was getting married at Rehoboth Beach. We came home on a Monday, and he started like a cold. Then I would start getting really short of breath. It was noticeable that something was radically the matter with me. It quickly started to get worse where the uh, pulmonary fibrosis just started to take over the lungs. A pulmonologist in Williamsport said, we can't do any more for you here. All I knew is that I was getting sicker by the hour and that I wasn't going to last much longer. It, uh, it still gets to me. He was so close to death. By then, I couldn't get out of bed. Things are pretty much a blur. I researched every transplant program from Pittsburgh to Philly. I went to a place where there's a lot of transplants being done, and they have a whole entire transplant team to work with you and stay with you through this whole thing. And we want to see if he can qualify at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Hajalatis came to see David immediately. One more here. He was very sick. He couldn't get out of bed without his oxygen dropping. He had to be in the intensive care unit. If transplant was not an option, he wasn't going to be around for too long. He said the lung transplant team will meet and we will get him listed. And that's exactly what he did. He said, your husband's been listed. And I can tell you, he will probably have lungs in one to three days. Hmm. And, and he did Sunday morning. First thing I can remember hearing was my son saying, you know what day it is. All I know is I was breathing. And they, they said everything went, went uh, perfectly. In three weeks time, they had him walking. It was just amazing. The day Dave came home, our son took a picture of him out on the steps and said, didn't think this was going to happen. And I'm feeling good, and I'm feeling better every day. I'm trying to get my body and breathing back into shape. And I work around the house here a lot. I've got a lot of gardening that we do. Put it in your hair, I dare I can't, you. I mean, but I can put it in your hair. <laughs> I think we've started to get some of the same life back, but with a whole lot more appreciation of things. Wow, you've come so long. I can't say enough about pen medicine. If I wouldn't have gone where I did, when I did, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I learned in the past two years what a good partner that I have. I think we might even be closer than we were before. She stuck with me through this uh, illness and uh, never left my side and uh, has been a great caregiver, you know. I couldn't have, uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Next. <laughs> It's quite an experience, quite a journey.